Hello all, hope you are all doing good. In this session, we will discuss about memory mapping. This is a very important topic in AutoSAR or a basic uh, topic that is widely used in all the Auto, uh, AutoSAR projects. Okay, today in this session, we will discuss majorly two topics. What is memory mapping and why is it needed? And I will make another uh, uh, session uh, on how to do memory mapping. Okay, so that will be useful for understanding when you look at a memory map data, you will be able to understand what is actually being done in the program. Okay, so in this section, we will discuss what is memory mapping and why is it needed. So, so before that, we will discuss what are the memory sections in a microcontroller. So, uh, I know most of you might be aware might be aware of this uh, memory sections. So, I would like to uh, touch a, touch briefly upon this. Okay, so first one is BSS section. So the BSS section contains the initialized variables. If you define or declare a variable, say int a in a program, that variable will be placed on dot BSS section. So this is uninitialized variables. And next we have dot, dot data section. So this dot data section contains initialized variables. If you declare or define a variable int a and assign value to it as hex 10, so that particular variable a will be placed in a dot data section. And the next session is dot text section so this dot text section contains the functions right all the functions that you write in your program will be placed in dot text section so this dot text section only contains the code and the other section and the final section is the constants all the constants that you define in the program will be placed in dot ro data that is read only data so these are the major sections that are present in a microcontroller and the dot bss and dot data sections will be placed in ram and dot text and dot ro data will be placed in read only memory all right so now we will see what is memory mapping right so if you are already someone who is working on autosub projects you would have seen files like bswm underscore memmap.h just memmap.h os memmap.h ecm underscore memmap.h and so on right so if you open the the memmap.h files you will see so many uh, memory sections right so map to the the start section stop section and so on right so what, what is why is it needed what is memory mapping so from the name itself so assigning or mapping the code and the data of a program to defined memory locations on the microcontroller memory Say for example, in your controller, the RAM start address is 2010 zeros, and the length of RAM is 64 kilobytes, and RAM address range is then becomes 2010 four zeros, 2011 four zeros. So basically, this is the range of RAM in your controller. And now, if you have a BSS and a dot data sections, which actually have the initialized and uninitialized variables, can be placed at any particular memory location in this range by using memory map so basically if you have int a as uh, declared so that is supposed to go into the bss section you can put this a for example at 2010 four zeros or 2011 four zeros so wherever wherever the location you want you can put that variable into that particular location same goes for constants and text right so using memory mapping, variables can be assigned to any specific location in this range. So that is what memory mapping. So memory mapping is basically, you have a bunch of variables, you have a bunch of constants, you have a bunch of functions. You take all this and you can put this, uh, or you can, using memory map, you can make this code data be placed in at any location, the entire range of RAM and ROM okay so th 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 this is memory mapping but why we have to do what are the uses of memory mapping unless we have the users we don't need to do the memory mapping we can just let the compiler choose the locations for all this code and data right so there are some benefits or uses users because of memory mapping right let's see one by one so why you need memory mapping to save RAM space so in any program you will have 8-bit variables 16 bit variables 32 bit variables right so all occupy different range of memory different amount of memory 8 bit variables for 8 bit variables it is sufficient to have 8 bit 
memory, right? You don't have to assign or give a four bytes, right? If you, the proper memory mapping is not done, then this eight bit variable can occupy four, four bytes, okay? So which can cause to cause a wastage of RAM, okay? So to avoid this and save RAM space, memory mapping is followed. What is the next one? Usage of specific RAM properties. So one of the RAM properties is retention. So what is retention? Say if you are allocating a variable to a retention RAM, so that variable can hold its value even after reset, right? There will be some necessity to, to retain the variable even after the reset. So usually what happens? The variables are going to the RAM and which is volatile after the power on reset after you do a reset the value in the variable gets erased right so to avoid that and if you have any special case where your variable has to be retained across the resets then you can put that variables into retention RAM a near page and zero page memory section so if you want to have a faster access on the RAM then you can place the variables in near page and zero page memory sections and the third one is specific ROM properties if there is a large issue that has external flash using memory map the functions can be either mapped to internal flash for faster access and the code that needs less frequent access can be mapped to external flash that has slower access so you can choose so based on the function that, that, that is required with the program whether it has to be accessed fast or it can be accessed slow based on that you can allocate this code into either internal flash or external flash next one usage of the same source code of a module for bootloader and application say for example there is a function right? so function of a particular module that has to be accessed both by bootloader and application then that code can be placed in a common location using memory mapping and that can be accessed by both bootloader and application next support of memory protection right for safety cases you the, the, you will have to protect some memory sections right if you allocate all the variables or all the code into a given memory location then that might lead to uh, uh, catastrophic behavior or it won't uh, get the protection mechanism achieved right so in that cases the variables that need memory protection can be mapped to protected memory and the other one is support of partitioning Right. In RSR, uh, there are some modules like ECU State Manager, BSW Mode Manager that need the access in both the cores right, or both the partitions. Uh, if you are using a multi-core uh, ECU or if you are having, using multiple partitions in a single core, so there may be some variables or some code of the module that need access on both the cores. right? So you have to divide, okay, so and so variable has to be mapped to a core zero and so on so variable has to be mapped to another core or another partition in this case using memory mapping you can achieve or you can place the particular variables into a specific partition right so this is what i wanted to discuss in this session basically what is memory mapping and why memory mapping is needed and in, in the next video i would help you understand how this is done so that when you are working on an RSR project and if you look into a memory map dot h file you will understand why is it and you, you, you will yeah you will get an understanding of the linker files memory mapping and so on so until then thank you see you in the next session bye